Hey, what's up, everyone? I go by name J1, and you are watching this is Lizzie Vlog. So welcome on on board J1. Thanks for coming by. Thank you. For so can you tell us can you tell us about your music career? How has it been as a musician? Oh, it's been good. It's been good. It's been fun as well. Okay. And um, you know, when you love what you do, you know, that just makes things easy for you. And um, I think with the love for what I do has been has been like the backbone for me. You know, and that, that has been pushing me. You know, when I'm not working and I feel like yeah, it's something I'm not functioning. So I just every day I want to work, every day I want to do one one thing. I want to record. I want to do you know quite like everything to just push myself, push myself out there. And it's been good. You know, how many years and we're still here, and we have something huge coming in 2018, which we've started already. So. All right. So there was there was a, there was an accusation against you recently by Victor Oweafo. Like um, said, wife, right? Yeah, he said. So, what do you? Th what was your take on? That um, I think uh, I'm beginning to understand that uh, um, he didn't mean it. He didn't mean what people uh, were actually spreading around. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, with all, with all, with uh, with all due respect, like I've been trying to explain, it, I I hate to explain myself to people because the more you explain yourself, the more, oh. the more you know, fire, okay. you, you know. The more the fire keeps burning, and uh, but the thing is, I, I've said it a thousand and one time. I didn't steal anybody's song. I didn't remix anybody's song. And um, the only thing that connects me to Victor Wife's song is the title. And even the title does not have the same pronunciation. And um, yeah, I'll be stupid to say to disrespect someone like Victor Wife. These, these are people that we grew up listening to. They are our daddies. They are our fathers. You know. But the truth is, people has been spreading another rumor like. Can you imagine if somebody coming to accuse me of theft? Like, yeah, you that you see somebody's music, that you stole from their wife's song. You know, but that was not what he said. You know, but you know, Niger people, you know, they just carry things. You know, I got pissed at the time, at, you know, because people were saying a lot of things like, yeah, you don't go thief person song and all those things. You know, but he didn't say that. You know, and please, those people, all of you people spreading rumors about me, I didn't steal Jeremy. My own Jeremy is different from Victor Wife's song, and like I've been saying. You know, uh, from Dami Crane to Tim, Tim, Tim Godfrey, you know, even uh, Small Doctor just released a new record tied to this year. Am I going to have to go around to I say that I want to sue oh, all these people? Uh, uh, Dami Crane's uh, Ami is like, a, a, diff, like a, a remix of my own song this year. You know, Tim Godfrey's Tim this year is like a remix. It's, it's not even his lie. It's a pure, like a full remix of my own song. But I ignore it. I didn't say anything. You know, so if it's about title, then I have too many people to sue in this industry. I have many people because <laughs> I released Philippe. I know how many people released Philippe after my... I did Bongo. I know how many Nigerian artists did Bongo. That is how many years ago, you know. And what can I say? This is music. You can, you can inspire. People can get inspired through your song. Anybody can be inspired through your song, you know. So let's just keep working and stop the rumors because rumors is beginning to distract me and I don't like that. So what do you have to say to Nigerians before you leave? What do you have to say to your fans that want to do music and don't have the strength or the material? Hey, uh, the first thing is, is the love. The first thing is, is your connection with music. You know, if you want to do music, you, you need to ask yourself this sincere question. Am I, am I, am I, do I want to go into music because of the money? Am I going to the music because of the fame? Am I, am I actually going to music because do I really love music? Because music is actually very, very, very difficult. The process of making the music is easy, you know, but sustaining it is big. Is a, is like a, is a bigger problem because people will say a lot of things to you. You don't have a private life. You don't have a life of your own if you're doing music. If you are popular, if you are not popular, yeah, you know, you are still coming and nobody knows you. You know, but if you are popular, people knows you. That's like the beginning of your problem. You must. There are some, some people that have that have uh, anger problem. You can't do music if you have anger problem. You, you fight every day, you know, no, even on social media everywhere. So first of all, you need to ask yourself, do you want to do music because everyone is doing it? Do you want to do music? If I, if I, if I, if, I, if my music is based on what people say to me, or what people, what I get, the, the negative stuff I get on social media, or the negative stuff, you know, I know they will not come to say it to me face to face, mm -hmm. you know. But the things people say about me that are, you know, that, that are here sometimes, you just, you, you might just quit. 
you know, but because their opinion doesn't really count, you know, so you need to believe more in yourself and make sure there's a connection between what you do and you, you know, that alone will, will, will take you to where you're going faster, you know, and for all the loved ones, yeah, I'm not, the only reason why I'm still releasing record is because I have some people, you know, waiting to, to buy, to listen, listen, you know, so yeah. if I don't have these people, there's no point doing the music, mm -hmm. you know, so a big shout out to all my real followers, all the loved ones, the ones that, that are always there, that, that, that are always pushing me to release record. And believe me, 2018 is going to be that year. That you, well, that thing that you probably been waiting for from J1, that you want a back-to-back -back record. And when I say back-to-back -back record, back-to-back -back record, I'm going to be releasing in 2018. From now, we've started already. And it's not just going to be, there's going to be a lot of collaboration from different African, African artists from from Cameroon to the Republic to Cote d'Ivoire to Ghana to Uganda to Tanzania to South Africa, you know, and a lot of Nigerian artists as well, you know. So some, when I say something, it just comes 2018, I mean it. And uh, I just want to make you guys proud. I just want to appreciate you guys for all the love you guys have been showing over the years. So thank you. All right. So before we go, up J1 do a little freestyle for us. So over to you, J1. Okay. Uh, mm, okay. Jeremy, 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 Jeremy. God, please don't leave me lonely. Can I call you when I feel lonely? Care for your love, man, around town. Wanting you for a long time. No retreat, no surrender. Me won't give you love. Me no start. What's up, everybody? My name is J1. And this is Sis Lizzie Vlog. Keep watching. Thank you.